Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure you turn off the water supply to the washer. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the suspension spring in a Whirlpool washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, a socket wrench with a half inch head, a plastic mallet with a long handle, and a strap with a hook on the end. When you open up the package, you're going to get two new suspension springs. There are two suspension springs used in this washer. They keep the outer tub and the basket suspended in the air together with the shock absorbers balancing the washer during the cycles. If your formerly obedient washer starts banging around and is even trying to leave the laundry room, it's time to check and replace the suspension springs, if needed. Now we're at the back of the washer and we're going to remove the top. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver and I'm going to take out three screws. Next, I'm going to push the top back a little bit and lift it off. To make our life easier, we're going to remove this counterbalance weight. It's uh, quite heavy, so I'm going to use a half inch socket wrench. I'm going to take these three bolts out. And I'm going to lift this off. It's quite heavy, so be careful. So I'm going to use this strap. You can buy it at any hardware store. I'm going to hook it up here at the bottom, at the outer tub. And then I'm going to use this mallet, but you can use technically a 2x4 or anything that would be strong enough. I'm going to wrap around this strap. So I'm going to use this as a lever and pull this up. Yeah. And we can let it down slowly and release the spring at the bottom. This is the old suspension springs next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, we have our hooked strap placed on the top, and now we're going to insert the spring into this uh, opening. We're going to hold it and simultaneously I'm going to pull up on the mallet. Carefully let it down. And then we're going to remove our crane system. Alright, so we're going to go on the Opposite side, I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to hook up our, our little hook here. And I'm going to bring it up. You may need to adjust the length of the strap by uh, turning the mallet. And lift up on the mallet. See that? And we'll go down slowly. Don't let it go completely. Hold it. And then I can release the spring. So let's hook up the new spring and uh, use our crane system, lift it up, okay, and we can remove the hook from the bottom. So I'm going to place this counterweight back on. And we're going to secure it with three half inch bolts. And I'm going to use the uh, socket wrench. All 
All right, now I'm gonna install the uh, top panel. Place it about uh, an inch, a little less than an inch away from the control panel and pull it forward. Then we're gonna install the uh, three quarter inch screws at the back using the quarter inch nut driver. All right, I'm gonna push it down so we'll uh, install the screw. Turn on the water, plug the washer in and run it to check if it works properly and there's no leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube and on Instagram.